Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you the latest method to unroot or unbrick your Google Nexus 10 tablet. This will bring it back to complete stock. I am rooted, you'll see Super SU right there in my app drawer. Uh, so I am fully rooted, but anyways, what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do is bring it back to complete stock, whether you need to bring it back for a warranty reason, uh, you just want to get back to stock for anything. So this will also show you how to relock your bootloader so you do not have that padlock down at the bottom of the screen when your phone, when your phone, when your tablet boots up. So first of all, you're going to need to click on the link in the description of the video and download and install the Wugfresh toolkit on your PC. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do it in this video, but in my how to root video, I show you how to set that up on your computer. So you can go ahead and check that my how to root video. The beginning of it shows you how to set up that Wugfresh toolkit. So you can check out the beginning of that how to root video and then come back to this video and follow my directions. But anyways, once you have that downloaded and installed on your PC, go ahead and go into settings, scroll all the way down, you'll see developer options. If you do not, go to about tablet and quickly tap on build number a bunch of times. Then you'll see developer options show up. Go ahead and go into it, turn them on and make sure USB debugging is checked. Once uh, USB debugging is checked, we are ready to go now. Uh, you can go ahead and go to that, uh, go to your PC and go to that toolkit. And once we have this toolkit up, you'll see you need to select the device. Go ahead and press this drop down and press Nexus 10, and then it says select the Android build you are currently running. So make sure you know which build you're on. I'm on 4.2.1. If you're on a custom ROM, select that. If you're on, any, if you don't know, you can select that. But 4.2.1 is the latest. That is what I am running. I'm not on a custom ROM at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and apply it. And now it says make sure USB debugging is enabled. Hit OK. Uh, now what you're going to want to do is install the drivers on your PC. So go ahead and select full driver installation. I'm assuming if you're rooted you have the drivers already on your PC. I recommend just skipping to step two and press PDA net drivers and installing those. So that is what I recommend. Anyways, uh, now we are ready to go. Uh, what we're going to need to do is now plug in our device into our PC. So grab our Nexus 10 and plug it into our computer. Again, and this is after drivers have been installed, so plug it in. Once you've plugged it in, um, we can go ahead and we're ready to go. So you'll see a back to stock button. I do want to make a quick note that this will do a full factory reset of your device. So all your apps, your contacts, etc. will be wiped. I do not believe internal storage is wiped, so your images should still be intact. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're running through this process. Okay, so now what we can do is click on this back to stock button, this flash stock and unroot. Select whether you're soft bricked or in a boot loop. If your device isn't booting up properly, you're going to want to select that. But my device is on normal, so I'm going to select that. Press flash stock. This is, says it will completely wipe your device. Again, I don't know if it wipes the internal storage. I'll make an annotation now letting you know if it does. But if you're ready to continue, press OK. So I'm going to press OK, and it brings up this Which Factory Image option. We're going to want to select uh, whichever one's there. It's a, it looks like 4.2.0 is the only one available right now, which is fine because you can just select an over-the-air update once you flash, flash back to it. I'm going to select Automatically Download and Extract the Image for me. Uh, so you'll see right there, select that, Automatically Download, press OK. And then what it's going to do is go ahead and find the download and download it for us. It'll take a bit of time. I don't know why it says download status complete. If it does that, exit out of it and start over and go ahead and start the download again. So if for any reason that it fails like that, you might want to just try it again. I don't know why it keeps saying complete. Okay, so I tried a few more times and it continually just said complete mismatch. I believe the download link is might be broken. If, it, if it's working uh, potentially in the future from this video, if it works fine, let it download and then it will automatically start the, the process. But if it does not work just like it's not working for me, we're going to need to manually download the file, which is no big deal. Uh, what you're going to need to do now is just exit out of this and then click on the link in the description of the video. It'll probably take you to my website where I have a download link to the specific file that you need. And then uh, just go ahead and click on it and download it. It will go into your downloads folder most likely. So now what we can do is just go back to flash stock and unroot. Press OK. And now what we're going to want to do is other browse. So we already have the factory image downloaded ourselves. So I'm going to hit OK. And then uh, it brings up my downloads folder automatically. If it does not, navigate to it. But you'll see this Manta Manta Ray file right there. That's the file we just downloaded. Double click on it. And then it says the file you're trying to flash is for a Nexus 10 Wi-Fi uh, tablet. However, you suggest uh, 
specified your device to be an XSS 4G. I don't know why it's saying that. I'm going to hit OK. Um, it says hash check verification and hit OK. And then we are ready to go now. So I believe it should actually automatically start once you hit OK. It says your file is good to extract and flash. Press OK to continue. Now what it's going to do is go ahead and automatically extract the file. I don't know. Uh, eventually it's going to reboot our tablet into the bootloader, I believe. And it says device connected. So once the so it's checking fast boot status. It did reboot us into the bootloader. You'll see that right there. And then this screen comes up. It says flashing stack will factory reset your device. So again, I'm under the impression that it's going to wipe your internal storage. But I'm going to hit OK if I'm ready to continue. It brings up this command prompt right here. What it's going to do is type in some commands. It'll bring us back to the, back to the bootloader. And once these commands are typed in, it does take a bit of time. Um, it's going to flash all of the system files, all the image files to our device automatically. It's really great that it does it for us. So I'm going to let it run through and do its thing, and then I'll be back once it's done. Make sure your device doesn't go into hibernation. Make sure you do not unplug your device. If you're having issues, try using a different cable, try using a different USB port, and try reinstalling the drivers on your PC as well. So those are some troubleshooting steps. I'll be back once it is closer to finishing. Okay, so it says finished and is rebooting our Nexus 10 now. So what it's going to do is actually appear like it is in a boot loop. It'll go ahead and keep resetting. You'll see that unlocked padlock still down there. So we're not completely done, but it is doing a factory reset now. So it'll take a little bit longer than usual to boot up. So keep that in mind. Let it boot up and I'll be back. Okay, so my device has booted up. I do want to make a quick note that you can set everything up like you would. No more data will be erased, but we're going to need to go into settings. Scroll down, go to about tablet, quickly tap on your build number a bunch of times until developer options shows up on the left and go ahead and check USB debugging. Hit OK, make sure that is checked. You can back out of it now. Now what we're going to need to do is go back to our PC. Um, you can exit out of the script, press any key to continue. It's letting us know that uh, since we flashed the 4.2.0 image, our uh, build number has changed from 4.2.1, so you should have an over-the-air update very soon. But press OK. I recommend changing it. Just go ahead and select Change. Uh, go to Nexus 10, and then change it to 4.2.0, or you can let the over-the-air update apply. It does not matter. I'm going to hit Apply. Hit OK. Now all we have to do is relock that bootloader. In the bottom right here, you'll see OEM Lock. Uh, all it's going to do is just relock the bootloader. No data will be wiped. Hit OK. It's going to check ADB status. It'll reboot our Nexus 10 into the bootloader now. Okay, so you'll see in the bootloader now, it's just checking fast boot status. Okay, and this screen comes up. It says locked. Um, it says your device should now be relocked once it boots back up. You'll see that padlock is now gone. You can just press OK to continue, and then it'll reboot our Nexus 10 once it boots up. You should see that padlock is no longer on the bottom of the screen. Sorry, it is getting out of focus. It is rebooting. Okay, so there we go. It says Google. There's no padlock down at the bottom. Sorry about that. But you'll see, there it is. So our device should boot up, should be fine. We are completely back to stock, uh, and that's it. So hopefully this video has helped you out. Be sure to subscribe to me. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.